Okay, Pokemon trainers, we're here back again with some more battle videos today. This is, of course, Trainer Connor. So in these uh, battles here, we're going to try out Mega Mewtwo X. If you have not seen my other videos from yesterday, go check them out. I used um, Mega Alakazam. And it was pretty awesome. So, and as always, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe. All right, so we're gonna use Dialga up front against Maze uh, Green Ninja. Now, it is apparent that he might go with the Dark Pulse here. It is neutral to Dialga as opposed to last generation where it was not very effective. He was trying to go with the flinch chance. Uh, that's what I was guessing at the time. So we get to set up some Stealth Rocks and we get to blast away Greninja with a roar of time. The cost of that move is I have to recharge for a turn. Uh, similar to Charizard X I used in my ILL matches where I went for Blast Burn. And uh, did I use Blast Burn in one of my battles? I, I don't remember but I I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. And if you have not seen my LL matches, make sure you do so. Uh, I, I remember I used Blast Burn. And it's just like War of Time, where it's like, you have to recharge for a turn. And it's really fortunate for me because this Dragonite, uh, Dragonite is uh, commonly used to set up Dragon Dance. He had a great opportunity to do so, but he does not go for it. He just went for the attacking move, Dragon Claw. And uh, so we get to use Mega Mewtwo X and we go with an Ice Punch to finish off the Dragon Knight off. So, cool. Very, very cool there. Uh, well, I'll speed channel lure. If he was scarfed, he would have outsped me. But since he's not scarfed, we can just go the Zen Hippa and we finish off May. And we don't get a chance to use Rayquaza there. So, that's a thing of beauty there, right? Uh, so, our second opponent here, uh, we're going to use Mega Mewtwo X again. But this time, as our lead, we're going to use Vikini against a shiny Eveltal, whom I, I believe that that's the Eveltal from the event. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure out uh, eventually what this Eveltal wants to do against us. We'll go the Fusion Bolt, and we almost take him out. That is Choice Bandit, guys, and holy crap, that is a lot of damage. So we get some information about the Evil Tall here as he goes for Oblivion Wing, and then he switches out into Swampert, which was a great play on his part because he obviously knew by the based on the damage that the Fusion Bolt did to his only Veltal. He realized, oh, it's choice branded or choice in some fashion. But that's okay, we will switch out, go into our Arceus. This is my shiny Arceus. These Pokemon I'm using are like all shiny, I just realized that. But like, this shiny Arceus I got from Wonder Trade, uh, it's a fairy type Arceus. And I really like the colors of the shiny sprite and the, the plate that it's holding. It's fairy type. It's, it's really cool. Now he has Dive. Um, for some stupid reason, I thought Earth Power, uh, similar to Earthquake, I thought you could use it to attack opponents who are underwater or underground. Uh, Earthquake will definitely uh, have a boost of power when your opponent is underground. But Earth Power, nope, not today. Uh, so he goes for a Skeleton Edge. I go with another Judgment, and we finish off Swampert quite handily there. And so he has Evelcal, who can outspeed me. He can just go with another Oblivion Wing, but he goes for Sucker Punch. I went with Recover because I am at low health there. Well, not really low, but like over half HP, I should say. So, I don't know. I think he should have gone with a uh, Oblivion Wing there. 
because he didn't do that, he is going to be vulnerable to a judgment, which is super effective. His last Pokemon is Zwilus, the pre-evolved form of Hydreigon. So I was like, okay, he might have uh, Eviolate, which those uh, pre-evolved Pokemon can carry those. I go into Mewtwo because I figured, okay, the amounts of damage I need is going to come to Mega Mewtwo X. So we get to Mega Evolve, and since I have a uh, Drain Punch, we'll go with Drain Punch, which is super effective, and we'll win this battle. So Mega Mewtwo S is quite strong, actually. Um, at one point, I would like to do a 6 on 6 Ubers battle where I get to use such Pokemon as these. I'm actually uh, undefeated in Ubers. So, I want to see if I can have a match with legendary Pokemon at some point. So, that's the match where I get to use, where I get to use Mega Mewtwo X. Excuse me, I had to say it right. Alright, so what's up next? Uh, the Johto Classic is coming up. And uh, I wish I could do an analysis video for that, but I don't have the time to do that. But I will have uh, some matches from the uh, Johto Classic here uh, shortly. And then, of course, ILL Season 4 Week 8 against August will go up as well. So we've got some content going up here real soon. Stay tuned for that, guys. I'll see you all later. Have a great week, guys. Bye.